five and six. We're only doing five and six together because last week number five, Doug was home sleeping. You are staying in the welcome center, freshly painted, white ceiling, blue wall, nice accent on the back wall, but you can paint and show people the accent wall. Again, this is the Welcome Center, ready to go, painted. Dave Kelvin's here, you can put the mold, the moldings back up around the, the base moldings. This baby is ready to go, tile clean, walk with me. Again, bookstore, one coat of paint on here. Um, carpet is in now for the bookstore. Second coat of paint, carpet, moldings, we're moving. We'll go into the sanctuary. We had a shipment of drywall. That's why my man boobs are kind of leaking. So we had a shipment of drywall that came in. We got four by 12, five eighths, not half inch, five eighths. That's why I'm, a lot of gravy. Come on. That's what Glenn wanted. Glenn, you asked for five eighths, you got it. So when you come in here, the ceiling has been painted. New lighting is already in. Drywall is going up on the right. Got a lot of workers here, a lot of help today. Stage is done. I don't remember the last time you guys had the stage is done. Ceiling painted, new lighting. Drywall going up. Chuck's up there taking Glenn's spot. Leading the crew and getting drywall up. Again, it's heavy stuff. Let's walk to the back. We'll show you uh, the update on my office and the bathrooms in the back. Now this is the drywall pile that I told all you young adults, Big Joe, Jimmy, Andy, Jordan, all you guys, when it came in, watch my text, answer the text, come on in. From this point on, I'm going to need all you guys, all hands on deck every Saturday till we move. So please, if you got to work, I get that. But if you're playing golf or Yahtzee, you gotta stop rolling the dice. Come with me. Got the bathroom. This is the bathroom in the fellowship hall. That's been gutted. Fresh tile going in. All this Jeremy has to do is grout this today. This will be complete. Cabinets go back in. Toilet goes back in. This is up and rolling. Here's my office. I need to finish the drop ceiling, put some more tiles in there, then paint it. That's the carpet that came in, that's the carpet, so that's my paint and carpet. Looks kind of funky, but I'm funky, so. Then you can take a little peek around here to see my private bath. It's the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Look at that tile. Walk with me. All your chairs, remember I told you, all the chairs are in, so keep your money coming in. Everybody that's in the church, we just ask everybody to extend $50, pay for a chair, that way we keep, keep fun this and keep this thing uh, moving. Credit cards building up. Come on, walk with me. Again, this is the uh, men's Bible study, women's Bible study. This be a classroom. Double coats of paint. This is ready to go. Carpet molding going up. Come on through here. This is again the kitchen area, completely painted now. Double coats of paint in here. We got the uh, Dave Cowboy Kelvin. Howdy. He just only gets in there pretending like he's working, but he ain't even sweating. He's in the AC. Nursery, freshly painted, double coats, double coats on the ceiling, carpet moldings, ready to roll. Men's bathroom, awesome, complete, done, awesome color, urinal, we got a part on the order, new sink, new faucet, new seat, beautiful. 
Room for two. Women's bathroom is all done. We even put in the second booth, we put a high rise toilet for the seniors. Or in case, I'm sorry, I can borrow that, but it's a nice toilet that's high lifted up so you don't have to, you know, and that'd be great. Um, See, everything's in, everything's ready to roll. That bathroom is done, this bathroom's done. Hang in the doors, moldings, we're rolling. Sweating talking. Church office, freshly painted, done. Actually, Erica was here. She just finished painting. I put her to work and I gave her one of these and I said, touch up. So she went around, you know, they're, they're so used to doing a little touch up, it wasn't hard for her to, to figure that out. But anyway, freshly painted, looking good. Ready for carpet, moldings in, awesome, ready to roll in this room. So that's where we are in week five and six. So it's been six weeks since we received the keys to the kingdom. We are building, we are going forward. Um, just I, all I ask you, Harvest Christian Church, to stay faithful to your commitment. Those that have committed to continue to bring in funds monthly to pay, help pay the mortgage, awesome. Those that are, all of us that are buying chairs, if you haven't got your $50 in, get that in. We've got to keep funding and keep moving because I don't want to stop and wait because that's, that's time. And, and we want to be out by August 1st because we don't want to have a double mortgage. August 1st, we want to walk away and be in here for Sunday service. August, I believe that's August 4th on a Sunday. So stay faithful. God is faithful. He told us, Harvest Christian Church, to he wanted to take us and sow us into the community. So therefore, he has done that. He is sowing us in, and now we just need to be, be that, that harvest and that fruit and that light in Marine City to reach out and touch a lost and dying generation. So I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for being a part of this. So just remember, all hands on deck, anytime you can give a hand, keep your next couple of Saturdays clear so we can get this all wrapped up and make that nice transition into the new facility. Thank you, and the Lord bless you. I'll see you tomorrow, 1030 at, at the church. Bless you. Thank you.